Good evening, everyone. And today is <laughs> bonus day 72. 333. <laughs> I woke up sweating. I had um, my whole neck was in a lot of pain. I've had a lot of back pain as well. Um, and then I've had a new development all day. My left eye has been bothering me all day. It's like I've got grit in it. And I mean, when I went to bed last night, my eyes were fine. And then all of a sudden I wake up and it's, I've been putting eye drops in it and it's been, you know, get, producing tears and, but it's, it's, it's still putting a stress on my left eye. So, um, my blood pressure keeps skyrocketing when I get up just to walk around the corner to the restroom. It goes from 100 to 138. So, I need to rest. That's why I'm so tired. Um, and I'm not having a ton of chest pain, but when I get up and walk around, I do. So, I'm actually, I've got my little corn-filled hoodie on my, on my, you know, chest right here. It seems to help take some of the stress away from my heart. Um, I've had to use my leg warmers all day, squeezing the edema out, just giving Hannah a little bit of a break. So I wanted to, so it's another bonus day, 72. <laughs> and I want to read out of Portals of Prayer. I have, I didn't pull out the scriptures, so I'm just going to give you homework. The homework assignment is to read Isaiah 42, verses 1 through 9, and Psalm 72, verses 1 through 11. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness to be a light for the nations. Isaiah 42, verse 6. And today's um, title is A Light for All. God called his Old Testament people to be a light for all nations. But with some notable exceptions, they failed to carry out this mission. Just before he ascended to heaven, Jesus commissioned his New Testament people to go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Matthew 28, verse 19. In the first century, the apostles and other faithful followers of Jesus went throughout the Roman Empire and beyond sharing the good news of God's plans of salvation for all people. Today, by God's grace, the Christian church is growing rapidly in Africa and other parts of the world as the Holy Spirit, through God's word and sacraments, moves Christians to share their faith with neighbors and strangers alike. Each of us has been called by Jesus to be a light for the nations. Few of us, however, are able to travel overseas personally to point people to Jesus, the light of the world. But through our congregations, support our missions and missionaries, our fervent prayers, and our personal support of Christ's mission across the globe, we are blessed to be part of Christ's worldwide mission, helping to lead people out of darkness into God's marvelous and eternal light. Jesus, light of the world, move us and our congregations to be bright beacons of your light and saving grace to all nations and people. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to do a few more devotions. I just feel compelled to do so. I haven't done any in a while. So I'm sorry. I've just kind of been preoccupied. I've been reading reading my Bible. Um, I want to try to finish it quickly. Um, since my health just keeps going down, I I just feel compelled. I, I just don't want to be called to heaven without reading it all. You know, when you make a, a homework assignment for yourself, and then you don't know <laughs> where your health is going to be or where you're going to be in life, but I just, I just hope he gives me that reward um, because reading it, it just helps me parallel more of what's going on in the world since I don't watch the news and haven't since 2011. I might hear of a snippet just in passing or see a blurb and then I, I start researching it. Um, but it always ends up being after I've, 
I've got a devotion already thought of in my head or a sermon or something that I'm going to, that I want to share. So I just, I just thought I would share that with you. So love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.